The opposition UNC is throwing the ball back into the government's court and is challenging the government to come and sit with them to discuss the income tax legislation. The UNC says they are committed to the country and will support good legislation. Ian Wason has more. The United National Congress is dismissing the government's claims that the party is willfully not supporting the income tax legislation to frustrate the process and by so doing putting the banking sector at risk. The allegations were made on Monday by the Attorney General. The UNC hit back on Wednesday saying nothing can be further from the truth. We want to say unequivocally that we indicated and we gave the undertaking that we would have no impediment to meeting at any time during the vacation. They are questioning if this country will really come out of the blacklist of being non-compliant if the legislation is given the support as it is. The UNC believes the public is being misled. The bill involves the Tax Information Exchange Agreement with the USA and the Global Forum. Among the issues highlighted by the opposition, the amount of power the legislation gives to police. And it says here in the bill, an offense under any written law. Then the police can just go to the Board of Inland Revenue, request that person's taxpayer's information. And under this legislation, <coughs> the BIR has to hand over that taxpayer information to the police. According to the UNC, the deadline is not November month-end as the government is claiming, but is in fact December month-end. The opposition says that is enough time to sit and work things out, so the bill can be given support by the opposition. The party is denouncing claims they are obstructionists, saying they will support good legislation. Our leader has committed us to pass good legislation. I will not, as a citizen, we will not pass legislation that en endangers all our citizens, all their tax information, uh, because of a requirement that is not needed by the EU or the OECD. The bill requires a three-fifth majority in the parliament to be passed. Ian Wason, TTT News.